Pouring Nation, we have a great experiment today. Last week, I talked to you about how to mix paints with mica pigments. I bought this set of mica pig pigments off of Amazon and have been really pleased so far with the results for the price that I got. It was $25 for 36 one third ounce or 10 gram bottles. And what I wanna to do today, because you guys asked me, well, what, what happens if I mix it with regular paint? Last week's, I only mixed pouring medium, and it was my Liquitex pouring medium, with the pigments, because that gave me a really nice shine. And you can see the nice shine, and you can see the depth of the colors in there. And where it's lighter, it's because it's thinner. So, but you see the nice depth of color in there? And that's why we wanna use mica pigments to get that beautiful shimmery colors. And sometimes the colors that you get aren't exactly what you want. And you can absolutely add a little bit of paint to change the color and to give a little bit more depth. However, there's a problem. You can use opaque paints and you can use transparent paints and they're going to affect these differently. So I want to do it to a test where I mix regular paints up. I mix with white, which is generally very opaque. I use the Blick Studio Acrylic Titanium White. And then with a, a like color, so in this case I use the Amsterdam Standard Series uh, Primary Magenta and Primary Cyan. And then I mix the two for the purple. So this one here has six grams of pouring medium and a small dash of this little spoon that they gave me of pigment. These ones have six grams of pouring medium, the same spoonful of pigment, and then a dollop, like a teeny tiny dollop, maybe the size of my pinky fingernail of white. And that's what made this um, look more pastel. And then here I did the same thing, six, six grams of pouring medium, a scoop of the mica powder, and then uh, about two grams of each of the colors. So this one had two grams of red, this one had two grams of blue, or magenta, cyan, and this one had a gram of each of those, magenta and cyan. And this experiment is actually gonna be really easy. I'm just gonna cover all the paint here, or put drop the paint on my Loli Vifi um, half circle silicone pad and let it dry so we can see really easily how those compare to each other when they're dry. If they retain their shimmer, can you see through it? Because I've heard a lot of people say, well, you can't mix it with opaque paints because you won't see any of the shimmer. And you really want to mix it with transparent paints, but how much transparent paints? Is this too much? Is it not enough? We're going to test. Before we do that, if this type of content is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified for our weekly videos. Otherwise, I'm going to show you, this is uh, about 10 grams of Liquitex pouring medium. It's a good helping of mica powder, the green blue mica powder. And then I'm going to add this little teeny tiny bit of my Bright Aqua to show you how quickly it can change the color. So again, with these you want to mix and you have to mix really good. See how the, you're getting powder on the outside? This is one thing where you can't skimp on the mixing. You really need to take your time, get everything fully incorporated, scrape the sides if you need to. So now they have this nice, beautiful metallic color, but maybe I want it to be a little bit, um, I want it to not be so transparent because most of these colors are gonna dry transparent. So I'd add a little bit of color And even a little bit of color goes a long way with a mica pigment. So you already have a good color from the mica pigment. You only need a little bit more color. And see how they just deepened? It made a, a little bit darker. And it, it doesn't look as shimmery, although it will dry pretty nice. But the more color you add, this is gonna be a more opaque color because it has white in it. The more color you add, the less you can really see the shine directly in the paint. See, it's harder to see the shine in the paint, but when this dries, like the ones down here, um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. We wanna see how much, that's why we're doing this experiment. But I just wanna show you how little paint you actually need 
to give some extra tint to your mica powder pigments. So let's pour these bad boys out. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to sandwich the regular color in between the other two. So we're just gonna go And I didn't mix some of the white on the edge here, so it showed through there, but I think we'll be all right. I could kind of mix it up here. I don't want to mix the colors very much. All right, so let's take a quick close up. All right, it's been 24 hours and this is all dry. Liquitex actually dries faster than most other mediums. And as you can see, lots has changed. And there's so many interesting things going on here. So first of all, the thing you guys all care about is glitter. You can't see a lot of the glitter here, but I brought this little light so we can kind of see the shimmer and shine. So the colors that were mixed with the, the, transparent, like this red, the dark blue there, and the dark purple there, they have a little bit of shimmer, not a huge amount, a little bit of shimmer. The stuff that had no other colors in them have a ton of shimmer. These are shimmery all over the place. And the ones that got the opaque color, the white, have hardly any shimmer at all. Same thing with the blue, you can see all the shimmer. And a little bit in the dark color. And the purple, same thing. So, conventional wisdom tell us that, one, we want to use very few or very little color when adding it to pigments or else it will take over like this did. I added about a third paint uh, to the mixture and that was way too much. We only want a little dollop like I did with the green-blue initially before I added more. Second thing, you'll get way more sparkles the less of other, other paint, preferably none of the other paint that you use. Third, adding white or adding a very opaque paint gobbles up the sparkle. So if you're gonna do an opaque paint, use very, very little of that paint and let it change the color just slightly. Otherwise, use more pigment. See if you can't get some more deeper colors from the pigment. Another very interesting thing that I saw is you can really see it right here. Look how dull the red is. Now I'm using the Amsterdam acrylics and it does dry a little bit more matte, but it sucked up all of the shine from the Liquitex pouring medium. So you wanna be careful when you mix paints and that happened here with the blue. See how it's dull there in the middle and then it's really shiny on both sides. It didn't really happen with the white because apparently the Blick White is going to, is a lot more shiny than the others, but it did happen a little with the purple there also. So we wanna make sure that we know if we're not gonna put a top coat on, normally with Liquitex you wouldn't need a top coat, but in this case, because I use this red and now it's dull, I would probably want to put a uh, gloss varnish to help those sparkles come out and to give it back its luster just like the rest of the paints. So another interesting thing I can do because this is all one piece and on silicone I can pull it off is if I put it on this light you can actually see the red was transparent and the pigment or the mica powder is transparent so you can see how transparent that is and there's no light coming through the white. Blue, same thing, semi-transparent blue. You can see the light kind of through it and then definitely through the pigment only, nothing through the white. Purple, you can see the light, but nothing through the white. So it matters which order you put paints on, for example, in the 
Shelly Art Bloom's technique because you know, with the pigment only you will see the color that is behind it also. Once again, if this has been helpful for you, please paint that like button down below. It really does help this channel to grow. If you want to see how I do very cheap Shelly Art Blooms with glue only, check out the video on the right.